Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for Touch Plus and today I'm going to show you how to do something like battery grip for your pocket camera. This idea came to me a while ago when I started to use my pocket camera Canon PowerShot A550 for time-lapse shooting. The only problem was the battery life was too short, around 2 hours. I started to think of a solution and in this tutorial I will show you what I came up. Let's get started. We need 4 plastic AA battery holders. You can get them from eBay for less than a dollar each. The next thing we need is a plastic box where we are going to put the battery holders. We need also 4 DC connectors. I used 2.5 by 5.5 mm connectors. We need 2 female connectors for cable, 1 male connector for cable and 1 male connector for panel. We need a PVC isolating tape and double glue tape. Finally we need thin cable. I'm using a really thin speaker cable which is going to do the job just fine for this project. The first and most important tool that we need is a soldering iron. Next we need a soldering wire with flux core. We need helping hands unit as well. Next we need small screwdriver to open our pocket camera. We need scissors. We need a wire stripping tool as well as a regular pliers. Finally we need an electric screwdriver and drill bit. We are going to start with soldering the cable to the connectors. For the main cable which is going to connect our battery unit with the camera, I am going to use 1 meter of cable. On the both sides I'm going to solder the female DC connectors for cable. The first thing that we need to do is to remove the rubber isolation and twist the ends of the wires. Once we are ready we need to heat up the wire with the soldering iron and apply soldering wire. We do that because when the soldering wire melts it wraps around the wire and makes it easier to solder to the connector later on. Now we are going to solder the two female DC connectors to the 1 meter cable. Always make sure to solder the red wire which indicates the plus pole to the center pin of all the connectors and the black wire which indicates the minus pole to the side pin of all the connectors.
the next thing is to solder the male DC connector to a 15 cm piece of cable which we are going to solder to our pocket camera once we open it. We are going to take the same steps as we did before when soldering the two female connectors. Don't forget to solder the red wire to the center pin of the connector and the black wire to the side pin of the connector. Now we are going to open the pocket camera and see where we are going to solder the wires. As you can see there are two metal plates used to connect the batteries to the body of the camera. We are going to solder the red wire to the plus plate and the black wire to the minus plate. You have to be very careful if you are opening your camera for the first time. Once we are ready, we need to put together everything and close the camera body. We need 15 cm piece of cable that we are going to wire the connector on the one side and the battery holders on the other side. We need to take the same steps as we did with the connectors previously. And don't forget to wire the red wire to the center pin and the black wire to the side pin of the connector. Once we solder the cable to the connector we need to take off the parts of the wires that we don't need.
we are going to use our two-sided good tape to put together the battery holders. We are going to connect them in pairs so it is easier to use them. Now we are going to put together our battery holders and solder them to the male DC connector for panel. We need to solder all the red cables together and all the black cables together so we get output voltage of 3 volts. This is what's called a parallel connection. It basically increases the lifetime of your battery unit 4 times because we have 4 pairs of AA batteries. You get the same voltage but the life of the battery will be longer. If you connect the battery's information code serial, then you are going to get 4 times higher voltage with the same life capacity. We are almost done. What we need to do is to measure the box so we know where to drill a hole for the connector. We need to measure the size of the connector as well so we know what size of drill bit we need to make the hole. Once we mark where to drill and know the size of the hole we can start drilling. We have to attach our connector to the box cover and screw it. After that we need to screw the cover to the box and we are done. Finally we are going to attach our pocket camera to the battery unit we just created and we are ready to go. That way you can shoot around 6 to 8 hours time lapse with your pocket camera. Hope you like this tutorial and find it useful. Once again I am Stefan for Phototuts and we will see you next time.